We've got two games of Wildcat basketball to cover today. Both the men's and women's teams hosted rival Michigan Tech Saturday with tip-off for the guys at 1 o'clock. The Huskies came out scoring up 5-0 before Northern started clicking, but it looked like they may have poked the bear. Max Weisbrod flips it to a looping Dylan Keel, and he gets cleared for takeoff down the middle of the lane for the slam. The Cats started feeding off that energy. Sam Schultz, working down in the post, gets his own board and finishes. He'd missed most of the season on the injury reserve, and man, it was great to have him back in the lineup. Things tied at 7. Schultz doing the dirty work again on the offensive glass. Can't get it to go, but look out below for Dylan Keel. A few Huskies made a business decision and got out of the way of that one. The Wildcats went on a 12-point run from there with big buckets from Weisbrod and Bjorklund, but Tech found a way to hang around. Pete Calcaterra knocks down the jumper to bring things within four, and he was doing it all for Michigan Tech. But nonetheless, NMU goes into the break up 40-29 and in commanding position. The second half was much in the same, with Northern's offense really hitting their stride and leading them to a blowout 90-65 win on their home court behind 22 from Bjorkland and another 19 from Kiel. We'll pick up the women's game in the third quarter with Tech leading by 12, and when you need points, you put the ball in the hands of your playmakers. That's what NMU did. McKaylee Kuhn knocks down the jumper at the top of the key, and Northern did their best to claw their way back into this one. Mackenzie Holsworth gets this unconventional look to go for two, and it's Kuhn again on the dribble drive for three points the old-fashioned way to knock the Husky lead down to single digits. It felt like the Cats had some great opportunities in the fourth quarter to make this interesting. Holsworth hits the triple with just under seven minutes to go, and Northern trailed 42-48. There's a reason why this Michigan Tech team is nationally ranked, though, and they showed that in the final stretch. NMU couldn't find an answer for Ellie McKay, who finished with 19 on the night as the Huskies pulled away late for a 69-56 win on the road. Both teams are back in the Berry on Thursday against Grand Valley State, with the men at 5.30, followed by the women at 7.30. For the NMU Wildcats, I'm Kobe Manzo.